what's up guys welcome back to the channel my name is uh, reckless summer I almost forgot cool wait great way to start a video all right so I am completely obsessed with current households and stuff like that so I'm currently playing with my current household if you have not seen any of the other videos um, I'm gonna recommend that you go and watch them or else you're gonna be really confused so if I remember, I'll link them down below. If not, you can go back to my channel and check it out. But so, this is Adeline. I believe she is the seventh, no, fifth, fifth generation heir to my um, off-screen legacy that I play. Uh, I've been playing with this family since June, January. Oh my God, um, since January. So that's pretty cool. Um, and since the last episode update thingy that I did a couple of months ago, um, a lot has changed. So, actually, um, I just wanted to show that off, even though, you know, it's not like a... I did the May update um, a while ago. Like a week ago. Not even. Alright, so, Adeline, I've been through the whole family tree before, so I'm not going to bore you guys again. But... Jamie was the first sim that I ever created back in January when toddlers were first released is when I first started playing Sims 4, not gonna lie. Then Paisley married a lady, adopted Athena, Athena had Belle, and uh, Gracie and Calvin, and Belle had four boys and Adeline. Adeline is the only one left um, out of the entire... Uh, champion Burgess Burgerson clan here. Um, I'm sure she has like some distant cousins and stuff like that. Nothing that I've really worried about. And so then we have her daughter Willow, her oldest son Luca, and then Willow and Bennett are the twins. And so when her husband Colton died, um, we gave Bennett control of her business. She had like a very, very successful bakery. Um, that she had been working on since her mom passed and when her mom passed she sold the house um, And basically lived in her bakery because she was so poor up until we could afford to build a house So I built them a beautiful house. They finally decided to have Luca. Luca is I don't know why he's in the business career. He's supposed to be in the um, Open mic seeker. No, that might be it um, He's in the music career. Poor Oh, poor Colton. He died by overexertion from the moving in the closet. Okay, anyways. So Benton is in charge of the bakery and he's at the business in the business career. Luca is into music now. And uh, her daughter Willow wanted nothing more. You know, she was a straight A student, just wanted to go to be a doctor, is what our goal here is with Willow. Um, Adeline is a. I'll get to the, the baby in a second here. Ooh, excuse me. All right, so Adeline has, you know, what seems to be a ton of time left here. Willow is neat, genius, geek, and quick learner. Like I said, she's in a medical career. Um, she's a medical technologist right now. So, uh, apparently we have to go to work in three minutes. <laughs> Great way to start a video. Jeez, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. So, Willow still has her father's last name, of course. Uh, get to that in a second. Um, because we changed our name. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so. Uh, God, I suck. I'm sorry. Okay. So she's a medical technologist. She makes 49 simoleons per hour. And she's about to get promoted, actually, hopefully today. So while Willow was in high school, um, she had met a boy. Of course, it's always a boy, right? Where is he? Why do you have no relationship with your mother? That sucks. I'm going to have to mess that up. Alright, so she met... Where is the boy? I don't even think they're friends anymore. Oh, they're still kind of friends. Alright, so his name was Hobart Beltran. And he is um, non-committal is that unknown trait. And he's a geek and he's a kleptomaniac. So they met in high school because they were both geeks and they were both in this really nerdy club. And he, you know, fell in love with her and she fell in love with him and... One day, while her mom was working late at the bakery, and Colton was working, he worked in the business career, decided to stay a little bit later for his boss, whatever. The boys were off working. They had um, part-time jobs, and that's why their grades were always slipping. <laughs> but Willow decided that she wanted to study, and you know she really wanted to be a doctor. So uh, one day, Hobart came over to help her study. Uh, they went to 
the romance festival and snuck off a little bit. Went to the romance festival and they ended up drinking the tea and they ended up falling in love. And um, they ended up woofing actually in their parents in her parents' bedroom. Her mom doesn't know that part, but <laughs> so they woohooed, and that is how we got baby Emma, who I think is sleeping. So that's baby Emma. I'm s did I not put the stuff in her room? I don't know. I bought little um. I bought little sculptures for her room. Where are they? Oh no. Oh, I bought some more of these at the flea market. Gosh darn it. Hold on. That's really going to piss me off. Um, no. Well, let's poop. We're going to sell that. Oh. I am so butthurt right now. I spent a ton of money trying to get these little semi thingies for her, um, her wall. Because I'm so proud of her wall. Uh, she's an only child, so she's completely spoiled rotten. Okay, well, we'll put this one up there. That's a fun glitch. What the F? Okay. Well, so she ended up having baby Emma. And Emma, when Emma turned into a toddler is when she graduated uh, high school. So, Emma has seven days, about a week left. And she still has a ton of time, 64 days. Which, I don't usually play out the whole thing, but... So, Emma has about seven days until she ages up into a child, and um, so his non criminal trait, once they aged up into, you know, you know he was not there at all um, throughout her high school days. He came to Emma's birthday party into being a toddler, um, and he, <laughs> funny story is the game actually, he stayed for a minute, and then he was like, oh, gotta go, so he was barely ever around. Um, even now he's not around. So, you know, Willow, he, when they moved into the parents' house, they ended up moving into this big, beautiful mansion. You know, mom gave the business away and just wanted to retire with Colton. And a few days into it, Colton had passed away from overexertion. And I got Willow thinking, like, you know, life is really freaking short. Like, my dad is gone. That was, she was a daddy's girl all the way. And Emma was a grandpa's girl all the way. So, you know, she was really pressuring Hobart into proposing, and that's all she wanted was to get married. She wanted, you know, her mother to see her walk down this aisle, and she wanted the family there, and she just, that's what she wanted. And she wanted the father of her baby to be there with her. Um, and unfortunately, that's not what he wanted. Uh, he freaked out. He started, you know, quote-unquote, working late um, and, you know, doing all this stuff on the side and he did have a couple excuse me I need to just sip I'm running my mouth here he had a couple of flings with some of his friends I guess I'll just let it play and I'll let her go to work by herself it doesn't matter um I'll send her along so he had flings with people <laughs> landlord's going to take care of the mice for us thank god um and finally you know what he just he came home late one night, like four in the morning, and she was like, yo, what is your problem? And, you know, really pressed him about it and really, you know, said, like, I love you and I don't understand why you're doing this to me because she was up late crying and her mom, you know, was just like, honey, you don't have to do this. You don't have to do this to yourself. Emma would be fine, you know, if we just do things on our own. And, of course, he got upset that the mom was putting her two cents in and so they got into a huge argument and he um he basically you know explained to her that he was cheating on her and that you know they all put in their money to get the house and in my mind you know he took them to court and oh why are you crying she's such a Freaking, oh my god, I love her. Look at this little face. Um, you know, and he, he was threatening to take her to court and was like, I I want my money out of this house. Either you, you know, give me my half of the money back or I'm going to take you to court. And, um, you know, he came from an extremely, extremely rich family. So they got like the best lawyer in town. And that's just the way it works in my mind, unfortunately. <laughs> I'm a messed up kid. 
So, uh, they just decided that, you know what, screw you. We're taking our stuff and we're getting out. So, that's what they did. Um, so now we're here in Sambai Shuno, which no one in the family has lived in. Oh. <laughs> Lunacy Sims is online. Hey, Jess, what's up? Shout out to Jess. <laughs> um, love her. <sighs> so, here they are in Sambai Shuno, and uh, Willow is just really trying to get her life together. And recently, we were at the flea market, and we met a boy, well, a man. His name is Terrence Flex who should be somehow related to Marcus Flex, maybe married into the family. I don't know. Um, so, she's, she's been talking to him. He's a painter, and they've been talking. Um, she's not rushing it. You know, her daughter is the most important person in her life, and she is not rushing it. And, of course, I'm playing a matriarch, so um, it was only sheer luck that the first baby would be a girl. So even if she doesn't get remarried or has any more kids, um, I already have my heir, as long as nothing happens to this dear child. She's just, oh, she's so full of personality. And with her having a lifespan of long, um, she's almost completely maxed out all of her skills. And she's such a good kid. All right, go ahead and study your shapes, kid. She's just overall a good kid. And... So I don't really ever have to worry about her. Um, but see, she had a not a very good baking skill, but a decent one, and her cooking skill is very high. And you know, it just became too much for her to um, do the bakery. And you know, she's older, and she just wanted to retire. So Bennett is taking care of it for now. Hopefully, it is still in Bennett's name. <laughs> uh, I don't know that the boys are dating anybody. Is Bennett dating anybody? He's a hothead, he's silly, and he's active. I don't think they are. How do I? Um, yeah, all her brothers are gone. But her nephews and her one niece are looking good. I think that's all the family that she has. Yep, um, only one brother got married and had kids. And that was these four beautiful kids. And then, you know, she had hers, so... But so that makes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven generations of strong, beautiful women, and I am having a good time with this. Um, so I wasn't sure. Um, I just I've really been into it. I've been into this more than playing like the legacy challenge that I have going up on my channel. Um, so that sucks. <laughs> but can you come grab some yogurt? Poopy. She can't. Although it's still come in. Alright, well maybe Grandma will serve up some food. I love the fact that Grandma has like a full cooking skill. Um, because it was almost that time. Let's go ahead and serve up some... Meatless Monte Cristo. That sounds great. I love the cooking skill in The Sims 4. All my Sims end up getting the cooking skill. I wish Grandma would get out of her jam jams. My god, we just spent 50 bucks. Food. Whoops. Same. Oh, I think Emma went to bed. Oh, she's so grumpy. She has been like the best toddler, though. Um, Her trait is a uh, wild, not wild, inquisitive. Wild. Hmm. Well, she's been the best toddler for being, you know, a wild child. She's been really good. Um, mom should be home at three. Uh, oh, five today. Could you, um, socialize with your coworkers? And then I'm gonna have the baby get up and grab some food. Grab a serving, child. I don't know what that is, but. What is it called? Monte Cristo? Meatless Monte Cristo. Uh, I don't actually know what this is. So, everybody's pretty much tired and cranky. I just wanted to go ahead and show off. Um, these are the pictures that Luca took on their family vacation. This is relatively new, though. But There's a campfire, the log cabin, uh, the waterfall and stuff. And I had a picture of the dad at night but unfortunately I lost it. They lost it when they moved because they had to move out in the middle of the night. Um, so 
That sucks. I lost the picture of um, Colton. But um, I guess I'll go ahead and end this here. I'm just sitting here rambling to myself. It's just been so awkward and hard to um, record these days because of the whole neighbor situation. So I'm like kind of actually whispering right now, which is really awkward. But yeah. I guess I'm going to go ahead and end this episode uh, thing here. I'm probably going to make these because I, I tend to play this so much. It will probably be more of a... Not weekly. It might be weekly. It might turn into weekly updates. I don't know. Actually, yeah. Let's put that over there. Cool. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and end this episode here. If you guys did enjoy this episode, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And be sure to check out all the other videos on my channel because um, <laughs> uploading is a thing for me now. I'm feeling back into it. So, bye guys.